Hey, Rocco, you mentioned yesterday how much confidence you had in Lopez in this situation. What did you see early that gave you indication he was going to be this good tonight? Um, I think he was completely locked in, and not just uh, his intent. And um, uh, he was just so sharp. I mean, the stuff anyone watching can see the stuff is it's exceptional. Um, but I think he had tremendous feel for his pitches today. Um, he was able to get through the first few innings uh, with a relatively low pitch count, which gives you uh, it, it encourages you, meaning me and Pete Mackey and you know us in the dugout, to uh, to want to let him keep going. I mean, I, to me, it was not that difficult of a decision tonight to let Pablo pitch, and uh, he pitched. Okay, we'll go in the second row here. Just how important was it to get those early runs from Carlos and Kyle? Yeah. Um, you know, we come in here um, playing against a good team. Uh, we do lose the first game. You want to come out. You, you want to establish yourself, establish something, um, make the other team play from behind a little bit. It changes, it changes things. Uh, you know, we, we get the runs, and then our pitcher goes out there and just continues to um, sit them down. I mean, that's, that's what you're – uh, oh, you're always wanting to see, you know, you, you look for those momentum swings. How much do they matter? I, I couldn't tell you how much they matter, but I think they matter, and I think everyone else in the dugout thinks they matter. So when you go out there and you pop some runs and you put some runs on the board um, and then your guy goes out there and, and sits him right down, is uh, that, that, kind of, that, that gets everyone kind of going. And, and um, you know, you, you start riding that inning after inning, and then, you know, then you feel, you know, in the moment you want to feel – like your guy's untouchable, and that you can play with full confidence because you have a guy in the mound that's throwing the ball that well. We'll go to Bobby. Everyone knows Carlos's October reputation, but what's it been like? I mean, seeing him impact almost every game so far, yeah. especially today. Um, you know, you, we've always heard all of the uh, the sayings and things. You know, when when the lights come on and the bright lights, and you know, there are some guys they're 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 giants in the, in the light, and uh, he's one of them. That's what he, that's what he is, and um, he's always an excellent player. But uh, when he matters most, it's like he can, f he can really take his attention and channel it and, uh, and focus it and um, just e play even better over and over again. It's not, it's not by chance. It's, not, it's definitely not the lottery here. And he's, he keeps hitting right uh, at the right time. No, this is, uh, this is a, a lifetime of, uh, of work in the making when you see him step on the field and do these things. We're not surprised. I mean, we, we you know, took the guy, hit him right in the middle of the lineup today for a reason, because we, we believe that he's going to go out there and do things like that. And to keep doing it, it's hard to do, but he, but he keeps doing it. Was part of the approach against Valdez to maybe take some borderline pitches early, grind out some longer at bats, just to kind of make him work or at least make him get into the strike zone? Yeah. Well, I won't go into our our full approach and and just what we're talking to our hitters about, but um, <clears throat> he's got he's got a good curveball. I mean, he, he's he's just he's a good pitcher, and uh, you know he also from the left side. Um, comes from a little bit of a unique spot, you know, st where he stands in the mound, where the ball comes in. He's just very, he's very different. So his pitches look very different than almost any other lefty that you'll, you'll see in this league. Um, you know, he's got the the breaking ball that he can induce a lot of swings, and it's a, it's a, it is a hard pitch to lay off. If you're able to lay off that pitch, um, you know, you're almost looking for that that kind of backdoor funk pitch that kind of goes like this and you're trying to hit that pitch much more so than you're going to want to swing at the one that starts more middle because that pitch is but it, but it's not easy to lay off if you're able to lay off it um more power to you you're going to have a better chance because you're just not expanding but uh he's he's really tough and you have to be disciplined when you face him go in the back right Rocco, in the middle of a Carlos at bat on the bases loaded double, there was an umpires conference, and then they talked to you. What was all that about? That's a great question. I can't even remember. Does anyone know what I mean, what which one that was? Oh, was it? Oh, 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 oh. Um, thank you. Um, so, 
when Carlos was at the plate, yeah, when I went out there, it was because uh, he was in the, the stretch, then he was in the windup within the at-bat, and that didn't sound right to us. I got some clarification, though, from the umpires that um, he's not a guy that's a hybrid guy. So he's not, tri you know, because he's not um, deceiving anyone as to whether or not he's in the windup or the stretch, he can change and go from the windup into the stretch uh, if, he, if he decides to. Um, I wasn't so, so sure about that. Some of the rules get a little bit, uh, they get a little odd, but that was, it was good clarification. I believe that's correct, you know, upon hearing it. Um, but the rule is set because when you don't know if a guy is in the windup, which a lot of guys are in that kind of middle position, um, you're not allowed to deceive the hitter in that way. So you, as long as it's clear whether or not he's, if he's standing straight up and then he goes in the stretch within the, the at-bat, apparently that's okay. I just wanted to know. So if we have to ask a question, we go out there and just ask. Stay on the left, Bobby. On the uh, two bunts in the fifth inning, the, with Jeffers, were you hoping to, was that plan trying to get, you had Royce on third and, um, the squeeze bunt there, and also was Polanco's his own choice before that? Yeah, yeah, Polo's was on his own. Um, Jeffers, uh, uh, we, you know, occasionally will safety and, uh, and try to get something going in that way, trying to add, you know, tack on a run at that point in the game. Um, it's been something that's good. It's been good to us this year as a whole. Uh, today it didn't work out. Royce is running better. He is moving, uh, uh, you know, noticeably better than he was even just last week. So we can do some things with him, maybe not everything, but we can do some things with Royce even on third. Anything else for Rocco? All right, thanks for coming in. Thank you, guys.